you just really need to understand that instantaneous velocity is just pretty much the same as saying at an instant or at a specific place in time so a question that you might ask that would be asking basically what is the instantaneous velocity I know that's not language that people use every day but if you were in a car or um, going for a jog with somebody who maybe had like a fancy GPS watch or something if you asked the question how fast are we going You would ask that question you are essentially asking what is our instantaneous velocity now you'd probably never use this second statement but it's basically asking the same question so anytime you look at something like a speedometer so here's here's your speedometer and you know here's 0, here's 60, here's 120. You know if your speedometer is pointing right there, um, that's telling you how fast you are going at that exact instant. And if you take your foot off the accelerator, the speedometer goes down. If you push it down harder, the speedometer goes up, telling you what you're traveling at that specific point. Um, so if we compare this to the previous lesson where we were talking about average velocity, your instantaneous velocity is kind of like taken like snapshot. Imagine that you could take a picture of something and ask the question, how fast were they going at that moment? Well, then you're talking about instantaneous velocity and not average velocity. If you looked at the results of a race and you saw that it took, um, you know, let's, let's talk about the Olympics for a second. Let's say, you know, it took... Um, for a 100 meter race, it took um, Usain Bolt, I think it was what, 9.6 seconds about? Um, if, you if you did that and figured out how fast he was going, or if you figured out his velocity for that problem, you would actually be solving, not as instantaneous, but his average velocity or v average uh, because you looked at this over this duration of time but if you looked at how fast he was going when he crossed the finish line then you'd be looking at his instantaneous velocity so when we go back and we look at that um, that situation from before where you have where you're sitting in your car at a stoplight for a minute and then you're driving here and during that time one minute has elapsed here you were going zero miles per hour and here you're going 40 miles per hour well if a cop were sitting here and checking your speed he would read that your instantaneous velocity is 40 miles per hour and therefore you would be speeding most likely getting a ticket and as we said before your average velocity over that time your v average velocity average would be 20 miles per hour so here we have one instance where depending on how you're looking at the velocity whether it's instantaneous or average you get two different numbers and it's important that we learn how to make that distinction um, so this is again just a basic introduction into how to uh, differentiate between instantaneous velocity and uh, average velocity. Um, and in the next couple of videos we're going to show you how to kind of work with problems um, that involve these two different concepts.